As I mentioned earlier, there's another school of thought on working with imported CAD line work, and that is just to let it be. I'm not going to bother cleaning all of this up. I'm just going to select it all and group it to protect it. I'll even lock the group so that we don't move it or open it or change anything having to do with it at all. Then to create a 3D model, what I'm going to do is come in here and use the rectangle tool to create rectangles right here on the surface. And if I don't get it right, I can use the push-pull tool to snap it where it should be. I'll make another rectangle here, pull it up, and reference it. Actually, since I have an elevation, I should use the push-pull tool to reference the proper height. And I can easily match that everywhere I go. So just working my way around, I'm going to use the rectangle tool, pull it up, and just keep going. And in this way, I can build up a model. And it's arguable which method is better. But it really just depends on how messy your CAD file is to start with, and how much time it would take to clean it up. This method gets around the need to clean it up entirely. Because you're not using the imported CAD geometry itself, you're just using it as sort of a template to snap to. Then I have to follow this up with the eraser tool to erase lines that don't really belong. But as you can see, this doesn't really take that long. And it got around the whole need to clean up the CAD line work in the first place. So you can pick the method that appeals to you the most and go ahead and use it to create a 3D model from imported plans and elevations.